Yo, greetings guys. Welcome to another episode of The Breakdown with your boy DJ RSC. And I'm DJ RSC. If you're still new, you don't know me. Um, my name is DJ RSC. So here, here it goes. Um, the thing is, today, uh, one of my subscribers asked me to show him how to install VST plugins, instruments into, into Fruity Loops FL Studio. So what I did now is that, you know what, maybe I should try create like a video on how I install some of the plugins. So I'm online right now. I'm trying to find some free plugins, which are not going to get us in trouble for using to, I don't want some cracked things, you know. So I'm in here, I'm inside uh, vstplanet.com. I know most of these are freeware plugins. So. I'm just gonna look for VST instruments and then let's say organ because I don't think I have an organ in VST right now. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna look for one which looks nice. I know these are small, you know. So I'm gonna choose maybe this one. I think it looks cool. And then fine i don't know let's find close and then start download it's called an organ something something so great we're done open folder and then we have this one and so we're gonna unzip this so i don't know if it's a setup or it's a dll file so let's extract here here we go and it looks like for max 64 bits so we're looking for the windows one it's fine and then we are here yeah oh, this guys so i'm a 64 bit guy so i will just extract this and then we're here so i guess it's a dll file so if a dll file means you have to just copy it to your vst plugin folder right so what I'm going to do is copy this and then I'm going to go into um, local DC and then program files. Sorry. And I'm going to put it inside uh, VST plugins and I can just paste it here. And then continue great so my vst plugins are inside program files vst for some people it goes into steinberg uh, normally it's in 86 and then steinberg and then you find vst plugins you can paste it here or actually inside steinberg they could be that so i don't put them there i'll make sure that i have a vst plugin folder here for that 32 bit i can put it here so for now i just decided to just take the 64 bit one right and then from here once you open that first studio you're not gonna see it here so you have to come here more plugins and then after saying more plugins manage plugins and then Here's, here comes the trick a little bit for some people that get they're confused a little. So when it's here, you need to add uh, your VST plugin folder just in case if it's not here. You can add it here and then you can browse to where I actually put it. So I can just come in this PC and then and I can say program files and I can say VST plugins and then I can say okay because I know it's already there I'll just say okay and then it will be added here and then I can say find more plugins so you scan for these plugins and then once it finds something like that once it's done you'll see it, it will come here with some yellow or goldish whatever and then I like to click this to make it a favorite so when it's a favorite it means now it's able to appear on this we call it combo model 
V and then here we go so then you can be able to play your your organ I don't see the things that they advertise there though but what can I say you have certain so good and you can do whatever that you want okay fine there was like a DLL file that you just copy and paste and now we're just gonna go and find a setup so now we are gonna get on my screen I have this plugin called Diva and I'm gonna try and install it for you guys and then see if this other way is gonna show you so you do this say yes and then next next program data it's fine so now as you can see it says Steinberg VST Steinberg VST so for me I like to make sure that it goes to VST plugin straight up so I remove the Steinberg and this make a good path because that's where my VSTs are inside just VST plugins and then I'll go next and then I just let it go I think it's okay whatever it is next and then it installs so itself it takes the DLLs to the VST plugin folder and then you are good once it's done um, you're just gonna search it again inside that first studio and then you'll be in charge let's just wait so great it's finished so we're just gonna go inside FL studio and then we're just gonna go more plugins again and manage plugins and then because I know it's there already so I'm just gonna do this find more plugins and then as you can see it's finding diva and then we're just gonna go and say diva and then we do that and then we say where's that diva diva and then my guy you good so yeah guys if you're new to my channel please subscribe hit the notification bell be part of the notification gang gang if you like this video please give it a like and also share it to a person near you because uh there's a lot of people that were coming to me and telling me that they can install plugins into fl studio so i guess the next one will be how to put in the packs inside fl studio even though i have a video but i'll create a new one so that it can become part of the new videos and then so yeah guys i'm out of here peace